centenary, there's a new project called First World War Memorials Programme. It's supported by Civic Voice, Historic England, Imperial War Museums and War Memorials Trust. What it's seeking to do is to get the public really engaged in looking after their war memorials. It's about you going out into your community, looking at your local war memorial, recording its condition, finding out a little bit more about it, and if necessary, obtaining some funding to help support the repair and conservation. There are stone crosses, obelisks, cenotaphs, which are the sorts of more memorials that people think of instantly when you say war memorial. But there are also things like stained glass windows, lich gates, um, memorial halls, parks, um, chalk uh, carvings into hillsides. So there's a great variety of war memorials out there. You know, people are only just now, I think, with the 100th anniversary of the start, uh, beginning to wake up to these wonderful monuments that are all over the place, every village, every town. There are estimated to be about 100,000 war memorials, but we just don't know where they all are. We really need your help to get involved, to find those memorials in your area. Have you been into the church, the school, perhaps local workplaces? Find memorials in all sorts of different places, and it's really part of this project to really find, locate, and identify the condition of them all to make sure that we don't just know about them today, but we know about them tomorrow and the, in the years ahead. There's not a definitive list of what all the memorials are in the country and where they all are, so part of the project is actually getting volunteers to locate all those memorials and um, make a record of them on War Memorials Online, which is a website developed by War Memorials Trust. War Memorials Online is a really vital website for the Centenary Programme. Everyone across the country can register, you can get involved, you can upload your photos, share the information that you've found out about your local war memorial and also tell everyone else about the condition. If your local community does a fantastic job looking after your war memorial, really cherishing it and using it, then share that, tell us it's in good condition. But if you find some that are perhaps neglected or being vandalised, then again, share that information on war memorials online and you can help make sure that this funding reaches that memorial and restores it to its pride of place in the community. Come to one of our workshops and find out. We'll tell you all about war memorials, the current state that they're in and how you can really help. You can find out how to understand the condition of your local war memorial, do condition surveys and add those results to war memorials online and in due course get involved in listing your war memorial and also finding out how you can go about making sure that your grant application is successful.